A man in Portland, Oregon is using art and robots to help combat crime in the area. Artist Robert Fortney created what's being called Robot Alley, which features droids, stormtroopers, and other Star Wars characters that uh, line the fence in the back of his house. They can even speak and interact with people walking by. He joins us this morning to tell us more about it. Good morning. Wow. Good, good morning. Hello. Wait a minute. This is the this is inside your house. We're not even looking at the alley. What what have you got a command center there? <laughs> this is yeah. Well, this is outside of my house. This is actually my studio, uh, and it is actually called the command center. Yes. So you initially set up like a drone or a, some type of a camera in your alley because there was some crime going on outside behind your house, and then it just morphed into all of this? Take us through that. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you know, so, you know, my studio is back here. I'm a professional artist, so I spend most of my time back here, you know, often into the wee hours of the morning. And, you know, the things I would hear going on back there and and stuff, you know, I'm, you know, a, an imaginative fellow, so, you know, your imagination runs wild and you get a little scared. Um, and so it started out as a motion light, then I put a helmet back there, and then one day I was in Target buying a, 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 a whole shopping cart full of soda water and scooted past this aisle and saw these stormtroopers for sale, and the light went off, and I was like, that's it. And um, over, I guess, the past 10 years or so, it's just evolved into <laughs> this thing you see now. That's just, uh, I, it's taught me things I never knew I'd be interested in, such as electronics and circuitry and things like that. Oh. Wow, and uh, were you worried about vandals coming and destroying this since you've had such issues in the area? Well, I mean, <laughs> uh, Vaseline helps a lot. Uh, I coat every, <laughs> I coat the fence with Vaseline. I coat a lot of the stuff with Vaseline. Um, and, uh, you know, I guess if I were to touch something like that, not knowing what it is, it would scare me too. So that has actually stopped most theft. Oh, um, really? To be, honest, to be honest, most people get really nervous. Like a lot of thieves have actually dropped things right here that I've actually had, I've returned like six different bags to people that had their bags stolen out of their cars. For some reason, they drop it right right at the stormtrooper. I have no idea you? why. Is that you peeking over the fence there from behind your fence? Uh, yes. No. Okay. Uh, that's actually that's actually a view from my neighbor. Ah. Um, uh, that, so basically, I have all these things that, you know, when someone comes, I can drop into a, a, a Kylo helmet at a moment's notice, like a fireman. I have all these kinds of pyrotechnics. That can go off. Wow. Uh, I have, have, you know, things like this. And, you know, I have all these things always at the ready. Um, uh, so that's actually, the, for me, the most fun of the whole thing is that it's kind of kind of uh, scaring people and uh, and giving people what I call the full Kylo. You have uh, tourists basically coming a, now. Do you not? Or visitors just to kind of check it out? Oh, it's now part of year-round tours, scavenger hunts, where a Pokemon Go stop, whatever that means. Um, yeah, I mean, it's if, I mean, it's why I never leave the house. I don't really go anywhere anymore, because if you have a one-man carnival, why go anywhere? Yeah. Um, and really, I love it. I really, I, I love every, every part of this. Wow. And I guess if someone did try to steal one of those things, you have them on camera, right? Robert? Well, <laughs> you would think that that would stop or deter people, but if someone's determined to take something, they really don't care. I've watched uh. people in real time when I'm not here, like, and it's always the things that I didn't think they would steal, like a, like a mirror. Like, it's the only thing I didn't lock down. It's like, uh. who's going to steal a mirror? Wow. And of course, the mirror gets stolen. And also a plastic leg that I used for a Jaws party <laughs> that I had floating in a pool. <laughs> I, it was such a cool leg that I didn't want to throw it away. And someone literally cased the house, came back two days later, cut the cord and stole the $20 leg that I bought on Amazon. Oh, so do, you, do you make money from your, I, I guess, more mainstream art? Uh, how do you make a living? Yes, sir. So by day, I'm a professional video editor, and by night, I'm a professional artist uh, of, of, you know, large-scale abstract paintings. That's the most of what you see back here is wow. the stuff that really does earn me money. And to tell you the truth, anytime this kind of gets exhausting or, or a bit too much, I do remind myself that it has actually brought me a lot of painting sales. You know, I have yeah. postcards back there. It's something I never would have thought of, but a friend suggested it to me. I'm really bad at self-promotion. And um, from that, uh, I've sold countless paintings uh, to people from all over the world. Robert, I'm a little worried about you. Can we have someone come in and get you out of there a couple hours a day? I mean, uh... <laughs> Well, I have my dogs, so okay, they, uh, they keep right. me coming. Oh, oh, there you go. Well, Robert, pleasure <laughs> to meet you. It's fascinating. You can check out more at plastorm.com. You can find him on Twitter. It's Robert Fortney. Thanks, Robert. Thank you. Thank you for having me.